Hello ladies and gents. Uh, if you also want your game to look like this, then here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the Novus Mod Pack. Okay, so before we start, one thing that's very important, or oh, a few things I should say that's very important. Um, there's a couple of hard requirements, or um, I guess minimum requirements, before you actually start with the Novus Mod Pack. Um, make sure you've got an SSD to install it on. Don't use a hard drive, it'll be buggy, glitchy, just don't do that, okay? Um, second, for now also let's actually look at what Norvus says themselves and they really recommend as a minimum requirement to have at least an i7 a 7 and then a 7000 um, or the AMD equivalent of that um, as a CPU. Now, GPU wise, uh, it's actually pretty alright for the, uh, the absolute minimum version. Uh, they do recommend a, a 1080 Ti. Um, then last but not least, you do obviously actually need a legal copy of Skyrim AE, so Anniversary Edition, or at least have everything within the Anniversary Edition installed. Okay, so let's actually get started. So first, just go to Google, put a Novus, top one. Now, uh, I don't know if the music's going to be on. No. Okay, so when you get to Novus, it gets interesting. Make sure you got an account. Just make one. Uh, it doesn't take long at all, to be honest. Um, I'm not going to go through all this because I actually have a uh, login and, uh, and everything. But, right, you just make your little bingy bungy and you're already done. Very fast. Um, this is actually where the full mod list is uh, at as well. We have over mods, so you can do it manually if you want to or just get a couple of ones. Me, personally... I uh, will go for the automatic installation because it's just super simple, honestly. It's amazing. So, when you first get there, introduction, uh, okay, no, 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 not actually too important. Go straight to setup. <clears throat> okay, this is where they already start with some of the requirements, as I said before. Make sure you got a legal copy of AE. Now, why this is so incredibly important is just because <laughs> a lot of the compatibility um, things around the mods are because you, you know, because of the AE DLCs. So once you actually have it all installed, be sure to at least before you install Novus, you actually open up the game. You will see this pop up. So just you know, you go to Steam, open it up, like start the game. Boom! First thing you'll see is thanks for buying Skyrim AE Edition. Download. Click download and it will start downloading it'll be done within a couple of minutes <coughs> maybe even faster <clears throat> and then you're ready for this next step okay now obviously if you really want to double check check if all these files are there but hey okay next thing is um you want to go to your search bar type in nvidia control panel right uh they have a really good step by step here as well right so if you don't want to listen to me yapping, go to the website and just do everything yourself. But open it up, NVIDIA Control Panel, manage 3D settings, and then go to Program Settings here on the right. And then select your program. So it will be the Skyrim um, Special Edition EXE, not the launcher necessarily, just the EXE, the EXE file. And good. Then go to PMM, the Power Management Mode. Put it on pervert maximum performance, and that's it. Um, let's say you can't fight your game because that was the case for me. I actually had to look for it manually. Just click add. It'll select the program. You can go browse, and you can go through your game files. Okay, um, until you find it. So if it's within Steam, you know, go through Steam apps. You'll be able to find it quite easily. Select it, and you'll be back on this. All right. Next step, straight to requirements. Now, this is where they go for the HDD. Don't install Modless on HDD. This is actually something you will have to look at yourself for your specs. So just pause the video if you have to, but let's quickly go over this. Um, <laughs> so you've got the Ultra Variant with Ultra LODs, Ultra Variant Performance LODs, Ultra Variant Ultra Performance LODs, and the Redux Variant. I would definitely say that this is a very big difference from these uh, three. Very big difference. Um, <laughs> and not only in <laughs> size, because yowza, that is beefy, okay? 
<laughs> but hey, what do you expect, right? There's over 2,000 mods in there. Once you actually got your right version, like I said, just read through it real quick. Okay, now, this is where it gets interesting. Because in order to get all these things, you need to actually have a Nexus uh, Mods account. All right, I'm already logged in. So once you make your account, there's my account. Uh, go to Site Preferences, click API, and then you will, in the top right corner, see your API code. Copy it, put it on a little, I don't know, um, like a notepad or something. Just write it down um, or copy and paste it, you know, on, onto your digital notepad. Don't actually write it down. It's a pretty long code. <laughs> and um, don't give this away to anyone because um, it's just, it's well, it's, it's very personal, right? Um, they even say this here. It's a personal API key, right? Copy it. Never share it to anyone else. Yada, yada. That's why I didn't show mine. Just keep that on the side for now. You will need it later when we're actually installing all the mods. Um, now, some of the old requirements. Net 5.0, this one, official C. If you've ever played the game mother anyway, you should already have these installed. But for me, for example, I actually did not have this one. I think I deleted or something, but I didn't have Net uh, 5.0. Just get all these. You're, you're done, right? Now, the juicy part, installation part, the part we like. <laughs> The install path. Once you, in a second, download the dashboard, don't put it into your download. Don't do that. There's no point. Really, just no point. Click the download link. Boom. It's ready. Okay, now let's look it up. So it will obviously be inside of your download. And then we're just going to click on it. We will cut it. Good. And then we will go down to D. Let me quickly make a new folder as well. I'm going to call this one. We call it TST. Open it. Okay. Boom. And now your dashboard is installed. All right. Very nice. Very cool. Very happy chappy. Uh, allow. Okay. Here we go. So now the dashboard's open. You will look for the game. Um, let's see. Mine's, oh, I think mine's under D. And then it's in the programs. Common. And then there is, where is it? There it is. Boom. And then next, you can also click auto detect, but you know, for the sake of the video. Next. Your API key. <clears throat> okay, then once we put in our API code, this is what you will be looking for, or well, this is what you'll be seeing. The Novus dashboard, instance auto installer, put in your little resolution, screen ratio, etc. So these are mine, huh? Continue. Uh, this should automatically be uh, like filled in. This is another really important one. Put on your FPS stabilizer for me, at least. The glow illumination, this is just looks nice, but will cost you some FPS. As I said, I don't actually lose any, but advanced physics on, nice. Um, and then variant. Now, as you can see, there's just kind of only the, the ultra and redux version. Uh, as I said before, the redux is uh, like the, the lowest one straight away, but uh, here's your any profile. If you want to put this on medium or lower, that will make it uh, less uh, prone to heavy. The LODs is the most important one. This makes a big difference, not only in size, but also your FPS and whether or not your PC can handle it. These are basically all the different versions. So Ultra is obviously the highest one. Performance coming after and Ultra Performance as the third option, right? Even if I change there, as you can see, Mods, 251 gigs, and Ultra is 277. Um, okay, also the recommended, you can see what the recommended is, the recommended uh, GPU, the VRAM, etc. Got to even say that the VRAM should actually be quite high as well on the, the RAM, but okay, whatever. <laughs> then, right, press continue. Yeah, it cannot be changed, say yes. Okay, here you go. Some additional options. So let's say I do not want any nudity. 
I want them to be smooth looking, no hardcore. I want alternate leveling and I also want alternate start. No fancy mode, continue. Uh, yeah, can I, yeah, say yes. Uh, choose your EMB. Picho works the best. The rest is kind of a, hmm, if you want to have cabbage, you need to do it manually. Right? Yeah, let's not bother herself. Just Picho, continue. Page file con configuration. Uh, Nova says it's really important. Actually, please do so. Let me actually click the link so we can go over that as well. Um, so Nova's always wants you to um, do the system file configuration. What you have to do, go to your search bar, uh, press your um, Windows key and R at the same time. As you can see, this pops up. Put in the system CPI. Go to advance, settings, and then go to change. And just when you get this little tab, change the size, the maximum size. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, the set the page file size from twenty thousand minimum, right, to forty k maximum. After you've done that, it's okay. Yeah, click on OK. You will have to reboot your PC and all that. Um, after that, you can continue your launch. Don't worry, your things will all be saved. I ignored this, and if I'm being honest, I got like one crash. Once every like ten hours of gameplay. No, 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 ten hours is is not that bad. Personally, okay, from my own experience, I haven't seen or have had. <coughs> pardon, uh, a lot of crashes. But as I said, that's my experience. I've had like once one every ten hours, and it will yeah, it really just wasn't that bad without doing this because I haven't done this. But if you want to be sure and not be reckless, like I was. Don't and actually follow their instructions carefully. I kind of ignored it, and it didn't do anything for me, or it didn't change anything, right? So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Down location, uh, just this one's fine. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. And then there you go. This is a little overview, and the only thing left is to press start. Now I'm not gonna start it because oof, I don't want to install all of that again. Uh, <laughs> I guess you guys understand that. Um, so just to keep on going, because there is something really important I still need to show you. So after you've done all this, a bunch of warnings. I've already went over it, though. Also, just be sure to go to the site. I'll, I'll, I'll still link this in. Okay, <clears throat> once you've hit start, you know, this is the screen that we had before. Once you press start, boom, all of this will be set in motion. Okay, it will start downloading a bunch of mods simultaneously. It's kind of crazy, but don't worry about it. There's, however are two mods that do not get installed properly. But don't worry, it's super easy to just fix this, okay? So, what you want to do, the two mods, by the way, are the High Poly Head and the BDOR Nova Pack. Those are the two that usually, for a lot of people, when they do the installer, some will be lucky, some will have this. I had this as well, but it's easy to fix. You will have to... Uh, let's actually keep this down here, sorry. Let's see. <clears throat> you will have to, uh, where was I? Here. You have to go to where the mod is. You can also see the full mod list in here, by the way. You go to the little bar on top. Hello? I should just, I should just ignore this, sorry. Go to the search bar and just type in the mod. So let's go for high poly head, for example, right? <clears throat> okay, this is the mod, high poly head. Look at this section as well, 5, 10, 1. This is actually not that important. Later on, when you want to mod things yourself, these things do become kind of important because you have to drag and drop them in the right section if you want them to actually be properly, you know, put in the load order and stuff like that. But just for now, high body head, phew. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Unfortunately, you get the whole list. Luckily, we already see it. High body head, click on it. Click here to download the mod. So we download it. Yeah. We'll be directed. Download. Don't worry about it. It's all safe. <laughs> well, actually, I didn't say that. Ignore, ignore that. I didn't say that at all. Then we just need to look at where the file is. Okay, it's in downloads. Now remember, cut the file. This is where it gets interesting. What you will have to do, you will have to go to your novice file or your novice where your novice dashboard is located as well but now you go to cache and you put it into 
downloads and when you copy it in there or paste it sorry paste it in there um it will integrate this into your mod list okay that's all you have to do the exact same with the bdor one uh download it copy it drop it into your novish cache downloads and you're done okay and once you're done okay everything's installed just have a quick check if everything's ready right and then i'll show you what you will see so once you've done all that you open the dashboard which yet again you can find in the things as well and then you can make a little um uh, i just pinned it to my to my bar right click on it boom the dashboard click on play this will direct you or redirect you to the mod organizer don't have to download this separately this comes with the dashboard so don't worry about it now remember 2000 over 2000 mods so you know just have a little patience when you click on run um then also quickly before because someone asked me if i could show a full mod list um, I'm not going to go over all these mods, obviously. Personally, I added in here, D-Menu and Wheeler. Um, if you do put in something like this, for example, put them under the right section, right? Under the right one. So for me, it was Wheeler, which is a, a HUD mod. So I put them in HUD. Um, and then as well, just be sure to ignore the update. Obviously, now it says unignore, but just click on ignore the update. Um, and it should work. If it doesn't work, you have to go through some regular troubleshooting that you have. But honestly, if the mod doesn't work, I don't think I can directly help you with that either. Uh, once we open Steam, sorry. Once we've opened Steam, run it again. Preparing. There you go. And now just click unlock. Okay, now this also where some people panic slightly. They just click on run. Right, and now nothing happens. Oh no, it doesn't work. It's over. Yeah, um, like I said, it's 2,000 mods. A little bit of patience, okay? For some people, and it depends on how good their PCs are, for some people, it might actually take like three minutes to load up the whole game, okay? Which is frustrating, annoying, I get it. Let's see how long it takes for uh, for my PC to, to load it all up. But it might take you three minutes, might take you 15 seconds. It really depends okay okay and as you can see personally i haven't actually had any issues like after installing um everything and loading up and seeing this screen i haven't had any issues when actually going into a game or you know loading into a new game etc um if you do have these issues just put them in the comments and i'll actually look up uh like if you if you can't figure it out i'll try see if i can help you as well with uh figuring out whether or not it works or how to make it work and maybe someone else in the comment that already has it installed or found their way in installing this um can help you out as well so don't be afraid to ask um same a lot of people on reddit can always help you as well so just keep that in mind it just takes a, a little bit but stay patient don't worry about it and then boom you're ready to play your game and that's it um yeah, so if this tutorial did actually help you, uh, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, as I said, I really hope I helped you out. So have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.